Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. We are still watching Hurricane Florence very closely as it is now inching closer and closer to the coastline. The visible satellite loop, you can see that very strong convection on that north and northwestern side of the storm. Latest information from the Hurricane Hunter plane as they're flying through the system. They are noticing the eye is not completely closed on this system on that south and southeastern side. It is an open eyeball right now. In fact, you can see that very clearly in the radar presentation. Those bands are already working their way on shore. And that surge, it's already reached the coastline, especially across some of the outer banks, already getting numerous reports of that surge moving on shore, already starting to flood and destroy some homes on the outer banks of North Carolina. The tropical storm force winds, they are reaching the coastline as well. And remember, we are just at the beginning of this right now. This will continue to slow down as it continues to inch closer to the coastline. A little bit of drier air looks like it's kind of notching in towards the center. That's why you're seeing that little notch heading right towards the center, wrapping around the west and southwestern side of the storm. But still, even though we have seen this storm, continue to steadily weaken somewhat doesn't really matter at this point this is still a very dangerous storm all that water it's in motion the storm surge and then with that slow forward motion you are going to have heavy heavy rainfall yeah we might be maybe slowing down some of the damage just because of the winds but remember since that slow motion with it the winds are going to be in these areas for longer periods of time so we're still going to see devastating damages with this 33.4 75.5 top winds are now down to 105 miles an hour notice it's also slowing down a little bit more moving to the northwest at 10 miles an hour so it inches towards the coastline by tomorrow morning it is working its way on shore so remember we're talking about it's just off the coastline right now and by tomorrow morning is only making its way on shore so they've got a long ways to go with this and then it just continues that slow march uh, down to the south and the west down towards South Carolina and remember all during this time we're gonna have those heavy heavy rain bands working their way on shore so the the storm surge and then the heavy rain remember that with that storm surge it just doesn't allow for the rain that falls to drain so it will continue to pile up in these areas you can see a large portion of the coastline of North Carolina looking between an 8 to 10 foot storm surge we are already seeing that storm surge it is arriving along the coastline there is a lot going on in the tropics another area that we are watching is working its way through the Gulf of Mexico really not a whole lot going on with this is still looking fairly disorganized putting about a 50 50 chance that we're going to see something to develop with this this is basically just going to bring some heavy rains across parts of texas as we get into the weekend watching tropical storm isaac which again does not look all that healthy winds right now at 45 miles an hour it's moving to the west at 20 miles an hour it looks like it will just continue uh, somewhat of a decline over the next several days conditions just really aren't all that favorable We've got to watch this because as it works its way into the western caribbean uh, eventually it's going to head towards the gulf of mexico and it may start to try and regenerate itself as conditions become a little more favorable uh, for development as we get into next week will it happen still way too early to tell it may not survive over the next couple of days we'll just continue to watch this one as we go through the next several days. Tropical Storm Helene, uh, winds right now are at 70 miles an hour, 24.8, 37.3, uh, up towards the Azores. Gotta watch this one. It'll be working its way through on Sunday and then heading up towards Ireland as we get into the first part of next week. We'll keep you up to date on all of this. Of course, we also have Subtropical Storm Joyce that we're monitoring. Uh, we'll keep you updated on all of this right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.